Hey guys, this is Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and I'm doing a little thing I want to call Do It Your Own Damn Shelf. <laughs> uh, pretty much, I made a shelf before for my DVD collection, and it was an epic fail. I had it all attached and everything, and I was putting more movies on it one night, 3 in the morning, and all of a sudden it almost caked collapsed on me. I'm screaming for my wife. She's I'm there holding this fucker on the wall and it was pretty bad. So pretty much I am building a new shelf and I'm going the way that DVD Collector, DVD Collector 1974 and the Horror File did. So far it's pretty easy and it saved me a shit ton of money. Now over here, I'll go to my section, uh, this DVD shelf cost me about hmm, 100 and 100 bucks, maybe 80 bucks or so. It holds about 420 DVDs. Right now, I got them all on my Blu-rays over there. Now, what I'm doing is the same thing as they did before. Two by four, against the wall. Oop, sorry. And then you take some one by eights, and you put them across. And then the movie will sit right across there. So I just picked a, a DVD up top of my hand, put it across, and the wall holds it. So right now I got two shelving done. So far, so good. Uh, I found some other ways that will probably help people who want to build the shelving. So pretty much, what do you need? Power drill. Mm -hmm. uh, get yourself a level. These little levels, three or four dollars. I know there's one on the phone. I don't trust the phone because every time I use the phone on it, it falls. So get yourself a nice level that goes against the side there. And what you do, uh, hey, guess what? It sits right there and you can level it. Pretty good idea. Three or four dollars on uh, Home Depot. Now, L brackets. These L brackets. All right, very small, very cheap. One problem I found with the L brackets down here, if you can see it, there is a gap and a fixture sticking out of the fucking wall. Yeah, these little L brackets don't fit. Well, they fit across, but best bet buy yourself a small one and buy yourself a larger one. It'll save you a couple trips to the uh. Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever you want to get uh, your shit. So, get a big L bracket, get a small L bracket. They help, it supports the wall. Now, when you buy the L brackets, you're going to get screws. Throw away the screws, put them in a little container, helps. I am not a carpenter. I don't do well building shit. So far, this is working. I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't take long. Just doing the shelf by shelf. I'm hoping to get at least maybe 11 shelves up here. I'll do another video of the complete finish, but right now, so far, so good. Now, the screws. You want to get um, drywall screws. Ah. A little pricey, $6. You want one by five eighths. There, those are your screws that you want to get. I'm there staring at all the damn screws and lows. And I'm like, fuck, what am I supposed to get? So I got these, and these have worked great. You got a whole box of them. Trust me, you're going to need a lot for the L brackets and each shelving unit. Now, these are your screws. All right, so pretty much next, just attach the 2x4 to the wall. Move my door. Now, right there, I got one L bracket. Here's my fuck up. <laughs> That's where I put one L bracket, the small one, and then I got a larger one. And the larger one fit better. So I had to go to the store and get another L bracket. But luckily, they come in four. Then you do your shelving. These are little 1x10s. They're your main shelf. And you go take a DVD, put it in between, take a couple fingers. Boom. So on, so on. Rinse and repeat. And so far, so good. Now, you probably want to get a stud finder, but for me, I have a doorway right there and right there. Right in the corner are your studs. And there's one right holding the phone. 
But anyway, that's the way to put it up. Now, the problem is I found this part annoying too, the doorway frame. So I got around it and the closet opens up fine. I got some more. Always, always, always buy extra. All right. You kind of measure them out. You say, oh, I got 11 or 12 shelves to do. Get 14 because you could break one uh, or one could snap on you. Always buy extra. Now, when I measured the 2x4s, this was about 96 inches or so, 90-something inches. And I cut, told him to cut a little bit extra off the top. It's a good thing I did because there's a little gap in between, and I'm very happy on that. So best bet, get a little extra off the top. Don't put it at the bottom because the bottom is the main support. So don't put it there. Put it at the top. I'm going to do my next video when I get all these done, screwed in, and hopefully see how it goes. I'll, again, if you want to paint it, paint it prior. If not, leave it as the wood. Everyone I know has been liking it as the wood finish. There's a couple of people I know who have painted it. You can always take the movies off and repaint it while it's up there. But the wood looks pretty cool. It looks like, hey, I did something. So return to next part for Do It My Shelf. No. Do it your shelf. Hey guys, it's Matt from Unior Horror Movies, and welcome back to that episode of Fix It Your Damn Shelf. And with this one, this is my finished product. I've got uh, all the beams up. So I'm looking at one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine rows. Nine rows right there. I got my, got my movie on there just to show you that they can fit right in. Perfect. And if you look down in there, there's the gap and how much room is left in there. Now, another thing I want to suggest to have a screwdriver handy. Because sometimes when you're using your power drill, the power drill dies on you, you got a little bit of a screw hanging out. Screw that fucker in. But other than that, as I drop more shit, that is the finished product. That's pretty sturdy itself. I'm hoping that I can hold a ton of movies. That is my my plan. And if this works, I'm going to get all of these put up. Yes, I have a bad room right now. And this is what I've been moving around. was all that shit everywhere. I'm hoping to get all this up, up here. So again, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. This is my sh episode. Uh, fix it your damn shelf. It looks like my cat is already checking out my work. What do you think, Tiki? You like it? You think it's pretty cool? It's not going to be your new place to hide in now. <laughs> so, yep. This is it. And now I'm going to put all my movies up. That's going to take me a long time. Luckily, I have an app that has them all alphabetized. I just got to dig them all up. Alright, guys. This is the continuation. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. All right. Later. Peace.